Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex and in today's video we're going to talk about how you can test your asynchronous functions or methods in Spring Boot. It's going to be a short one, so without further ado, let's code. All right, so we are in our favorite IDE. Um, so let's quickly take a look at the build file. So as you can see, I'm using Spring Boot 272. Uh, there's really not much more that I need in, in, in this video. And we start with writing a quick service that is just doing some computation and storing a result. And then we run a test to confirm that the calculation has been correct. So let's go here and just create a new uh, service. Let's call my service. Uh, that's a spring service. There we go. And all it does is really um, calculate. So what does it calculate? Um, it should, let's just store a few results here. Cache. It's not a real cache, but let's give it a try. Concurrent hash map. Um, we want int here. Um, yeah, that needs to be a well. So we have some sort of cache um, where we can just um, store compute, uh, computed results. Uh, what I want to do is I really want to just add the answer, which is 42, right? And now I also want to have a call. Yeah, that's pretty much doing that. So I'm using GitHub Copilot, if you're, if you're wondering. It makes it a little bit easier. So this is the service already, right? So I ask it to calculate a value, and later on I just retrieve that value. And that's really all there is to it. Now let's quickly write a test case for that. Um, calculation is correct. Um, yeah, and we need the service, of course. Um, gotta inject that. Um, service, my service, there we go. Auto wired. Um, now we have the service. And now I can do assertions, assert equals expected 42 is service get answer and of course I first have to perform the calculation otherwise it won't be there so this is our test case for now let's quickly run this and see if it if it works and if all goes well um, that should just succeed and it does right because the calculation is just um, being performed and then afterwards we can just make sure that 42 is the expected result. So let's add a little bit concurrency into the mix. So I'm going back to the service and now I want to make this calculation asynchronous. And for that to work, I also have to enable async, enable async, otherwise it won't work. And now let's pretend that this calculation really takes a lot of time. So let's have it sleep for five seconds. So we, we just pretend that this um, service is taking a long time to calculate. And now let's run the test again. And this should not work, right? And the reason is um, the answer is not there at this point because when we just check the test, you can see uh, we run the calculation, it's gonna take five seconds, but in, in these five seconds, we already run the assertion and it's not 42. So this is a very like admittedly simple scenario uh, to, to have concurrency in a Spring Boot application. Um, and here's the little trick that I'm usually doing um, to kind of disable concurrency during my tests. So um, the first is adding a new configuration. Let's call that async config. Um, let's make sure that this is a configuration. I put the enable async annotation here and of course I have to remove it from here. Um, and now I want to make sure that this only loads conditionally. So there are, there are multiple ways of doing this, um, but I just go with a profile for, for now. So what I'm telling um, Spring here is that and I don't need these color braces. Um, so this means the um, asynchronous configuration is only picked up when the profile is not test. Because for tests, I don't want, ha want to have concurrency. So this is what this essentially does. But now um, we have to load that profile to make sure that it's correctly picked up. 
So what I usually do is I go into the build file and then we go to the test task and then we just add the environment variable using spring profiles active test. So that means uh, whenever a test is started, um, the active profile is set to test one of the active profiles. Let me just reload that. So, and that should really be all that is needed because if I now just rerun that test again, it should take five seconds because right now uh, there's no concurrency involved. So that means we're waiting for the full five seconds, as you can see. Uh, it took five seconds and a few milliseconds to, to run this test and it has executed um, successfully. Um, so yeah, this is, this is really, really all there is to it. As I said, just adding the environment variable to make sure you're loading a profile. There are other ways of, of achieving that, of course. And then having a dedicated configuration that is just active when you're not testing, right? So that, that's the whole idea here. So this works for this simple scenario where you have um, concurrency using the async annotation. But it's getting more complicated when you have like coroutines or manually managing threats and whatnot. So there are other ways that we that we can achieve that. But this is the quick quick fix that I wanted to share in this video. So hope you liked it. Um, let me know in the comments if if you want to see more of that. And I see you in the next video.